The next lit term is antagonist, which is the character pitted against the protagonist, and an evil or cruel antagonist is a villain. So if we are considering George as our protagonist, it's really um, time to start thinking about which character is Justin Evans is wanting you, the reader, to feel is the antagonist in this book. Um, what's cool, in my opinion, is that he is making efforts to make you think that there could be um, multiple antagonists at this point. Um, George has mixed feelings about a lot of people, um, and he he doesn't really know what to think about Tom Harris. He He's feeling like maybe Tom Harris is creeping in on his mom right after his dad's passing. Um, the friend is confusing to George initially. Um, it's scary. And then all of a sudden it's kind of alluring and um, comforting and uh, makes him feel like seen. Um, but then we also have the therapists, both George's adult therapist and George's childhood therapist, both um, make George reflect on aspects of his life that he doesn't really want to. Uh, right away when we meet George's adult therapist, George gets really defensive with him because, um, the therapist is making him reflect about his, uh, marriage and his parenting, uh, which doesn't make him all that happy. And I don't know if he's truly ready to face those things about himself. Um, and so George sort of makes himself the victim in that scenario, um, and he feels kind of attacked. And in George's childhood therapy sessions, um, George has just lost his dad. And so uh, having to dig through that as a as an adolescent would be troubling and um, difficult. So I think George wants to trust his therapist, but is having a hard time doing so. Um, and then we're, we're still pretty early on in the reading, but even in the coming readings, there are a few more characters that are introduced that Justin Evans does make efforts to make you, the reader, feel like, ooh, maybe this could be the antagonist or mm, I'm not sure what's going on there. So um, keep your eyes peeled for that and um, you totally will change your mind about who the antagonist is probably a few times throughout your reading of this book. Um, and again, that's one thing that I just adore about this book is that it makes it like you keep guessing, you keep wondering, you keep trying to figure out like what's Justin Evans doing here? Like what is his, what's the end goal? What does he want me thinking? Um, and anyway, also keep your eyes out keep your eyes peeled for any characters who like hiss at George. That sounds like really crazy, but um, keep your eyes open for any time Justin Evans uses words that sound like hissing or um, that have sort of like snake like uh, <laughs> tone vibe. Um, keep your eyes on that because it's really interesting to see how he kind of uses this idea of the snake motif, um, which probably makes no sense to you now, but will as you read on. So just keep your eyes open for that. So antagonist, I can't wait to hear your thoughts on who you guys think is the antagonist when I see you next. <laughs>